This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, hey, we've been talking about it all week, and tonight is the night when Crave Rhode Island kicks off for a two-night event. Chef Aaron Peachy is so excited because they are taking part yet again. He's from the Rosendale, and they are making a super melt slider. Super melt slider is the way <gasps> to go. love a good slider? There's not many people that don't no. enjoy a really good slider, <laughs> and these are going to top it off. So this is what one of the items that you're serving at Crave tonight. Yes, absolutely. The other item is? We're going to do a buffalo mac and cheese as well with a, with a three cheese sauce, a little gorgonzola, a little spice, a little cream. Yum. It's beautiful. Uh, he whipped one of those up earlier, which we'll show you a little later on, but we want to talk about the ingredients needed to make a slider. So if we want to make this for ourselves at home, what do we need? Uh, it's real simple. You start off with some all white. Uh, chicken breast, mm -hmm. panko, flour, parsley, garlic salt, uh, black pepper, kosher salt, um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. These are seasonings that'll go into our uh, into our batter here. Okay, what seasonings have you selected there? Uh, just garlic salt, black pe uh, black pepper, Keeping kosher it simple. salt. Keep it real simple. Uh, you it also easy. have an egg and some bacon here. Uh, this is just for the egg wash. All right. And the bacon. What sandwich isn't great without bacon? Well, yeah, chicken and bacon Gotta sounds it. delicious. Uh, tell me about this. Is this like a this is just butter? A, this is a garlic butter, an herb garlic butter that mm. we use to put on our uh, buns before we grill them. Okay. Good buttery oh, crunchiness. Oh, that nice toasty bun. We say, that makes all the difference sometimes all when you're difference. making a burger. It, texturally, um, it, it just you adds a little something. that rich butter, that crisp, that mm. salty, like, hits on all cylinders. It really does. You've taken part in Crave Rhode Island in the past. You're I excited to be back? I absolutely have. Excited. Really yeah. excited. It was a great event. We had a lot of fun last year. And you went through a lot of food last year. Lots of food. <laughs> so I hope so you're bringing a lot food. this year. Oh, we are. We got tons of food. Got enough for everybody. Good. So well, make sure you come down. <laughs> yeah, you'll see them tonight if you're headed to Crave. We'll talk more about that on Get Cooking in just a bit. Yeah, that's right. I'm with the Rosendale in the kitchen. They're taking part in Crave Rhode Island again. They were there in the past, and they will be there tonight. It is a great event. Chef Aaron is here, and we're making a slider which I said, there's so many different versions of sliders. I like this one because you're using chicken. Some yeah. people like to avoid um, like the, the red meat every so often yeah, as absolutely. well. So this is this is great. Tell us about some of the prep work you did to the chicken there. Prep work is pretty much just, uh, you know, flour, egg wash, mm -hmm. ankle breadcrumbs. Do you pound that up? Do you, do you tenderize it a little bit? Um, it's it's, it it's, a, it's a chicken tender that we fillet in half. We butterfly it, make okay. it nice and thin to help with the cook time. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna throw right into the oil. Right there. into and the I oil. Love that you bread it with some panko. Oh, that's nice and crispy. Yeah, that's that kind of um, larger breadcrumb. We use a super this herby so like spice too. And what sort of oil are you using to fry this in? It's canola oil. Okay. I know that's really important to know as well. Don't go taking. I know people think the olive oil is healthier, and it is. But to fry, it's just gonna smoke you out. Let's go. Oh, it's the, the flash point's way too high in olive mm -hmm. oil. So we let that go. About let how that many go for a little minutes bit. do you suggest? Because they are, they're pretty thin. Really thin. About three minutes. Three cook minutes. Time, yeah, it cook on time's really quick. Or yep. they'll... About three, okay. three minutes submerged in oil. Mm -hmm. They're usually Get ready nice, to go. nice, crispy, Super and crispy. golden brown. Golden brown. How are you going to tackle this at Crave tonight? Do you have some fryers there that you'll bring along with you? Or? Yeah, we have all our equipment there already okay. set up, ready to go. We'll be nice. making about 600 of these sliders tonight. Well, Give or take. get there early then, oh, I yeah, bet. Absolutely. Um, it's not just sliders, it's mac and cheese as well. What was it like last year? Was it like kind of wonderfully overwhelming just to see that many people it was, grab the It was plates? great last year. It was my first time doing the event. Uh -huh. um, just to be able to serve that many people. Yeah. Showcase what we have to offer at the Rosendale. And that's what Along we keep, with all the other vendors. It was a great time. We keep telling folks, too, it's a great opportunity to try something new or just try a new menu item from a place that you yeah, absolutely. love. I mean, this is a way for you guys to introduce your food to the masses. Yeah, the networking is great. I bet. Yeah, and then you can kind of mix and mingle with the other restaurants yeah, oh, and absolutely. see who's doing what. It already smells great in here. I mean, when you're frying something, when does it not smell good? <laughs> We're going to let those go for another couple of minutes. We'll assemble our slider when we come back. We'll show you that mac and cheese that they're also offering at Crave. Stick around. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen one more time. Crave Rhode Island kicks off tonight. It's going to be a great two-day event tonight and tomorrow over at the Dunkin' Donuts Center where you can sample so much great food, including these super melt sliders that the Rosendale is whipping up. Chef Aaron has been so busy in here. I said, I love that. You get a chef in a kitchen, it's like you have one pace. That's it. You're you going, go. you're cruising, you're making sure you got everything where it needs to be. When we last left, um, you had placed the chicken in there. It looks like it's coming up to a nice golden brown. Chicken is just about there, and then we'll start building. Okay. 
uh, we need to get a toast on the on the buns, which yeah. you mentioned before. Which I love that. It, it, it is all nice hot skillet. Small details that can go into even something as simple as a slider or a burger, um, but a little goes a long way. Do you find that as a chef that you just try and make some small tweaks and always make it work? It can really regardless make a difference. what happens. You always find out a way to make it work. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you're serving over at Brave Rhode Island. We're going to yep. let those toast up for a moment. I want you to look down the counter, though, because uh, that macaroni and cheese that's behind there, that's also something that will be served over at Crave. Tell us about that. It's a uh, three cheese buffalo mac and cheese mm. topped with uh, like a panko and goldfish uh, topping. Like goldfish crackers? Yeah, just the what? crumbs. Yeah, it's a nice little touch, a little bit of fresh chive. Wow. Get it nice and ooey, gooey, a little spicy. And what sort of like panini pressed sandwich This is, is actually there? our full size super melt that you can order at the Rosendale. Okay. So we pretty much took this and turned this into a slider. And it pairs super with some, some home, those look like fresh homemade, homemade hand cut fries. Mmm, gotta yeah, you love can't beat that. It. Uh, you have a lot of great items over at the Rosendale. Yes, we do. What are some of the other things that you offer in addition to like a sandwich? Our and flatbread and pizzas are are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You know, for the deal, the price, uh, yeah. overall price points are right on. Um, also, this past year, we just won our second annual uh, Bloody Mary contest. Hey. So we're back to back champs on the Bloody Mary. Congratulations. Yeah, that was pretty fun. What makes yours stand out? Are they topped with crazy items? No, or? nothing crazy. We keep it simple and make mm -hmm. it how Bloody Mary drinkers like the Bloody Marys. Yeah. You know? With a nice little Super spice. spicy. Super there spicy, go. sweet at the same time. Will and I were just talking about Bloody Marys earlier this Ooh, week and how, you yeah, check us out. you gotta get them just balanced just so. Um, and apparently, you do it well because they are award winning. So we are ready to build over here. All right, let's jump in. We're gonna take our bottom buns, mm -hmm. real simple. Well, nice if you wanna put some uh, uh, barbecue on each one of these for Ooh, me, that'd be oh, great. Barbecue sauce, okay. A little dollop on each. And I'm sure you're gonna have some sort of assembly line going tonight over at Craig. Oh yeah, we're gonna be nuts tonight. To make sure you can get all these out. We'll take our freshly fried chicken tenders. I think kind just of kind of fold them in, them in half. half. So this is gonna be a hefty, hefty bite oh, here. Oh, this is a great slider right the here. whole piece of chicken. Whole piece of chicken. Then we have some of our, oops, excuse me. Sure. Just a little bit of mixed cheese. Now this chicken yeah. just came out of the fryer. Normally we put this in the oven mm -hmm. just to melt it down a little more, but because this chicken's so hot, it's gonna melt the down for us will perfectly. Melt right on it, yeah. Then each slider is gonna get a piece of thick cut applewood smoked bacon. Oh, yes. So it's been making that the kitchen smell oh, so good so between good. the fried chicken and the bacon. If you'd like to help me, we could top these with ranch. Yeah, you got it. And then just put it right on top. Sandwich them on top. Oh yeah. Wow. And today is not only uh, a big day because you're taking part in Crave Rhode Island. Uh, it's your mom's birthday. It's my mama's birthday. We gotta give her a little shout out. Happy did birthday, she, mama. Love did you. Did she uh, teach you in the kitchen? Was that something that Absolutely. you guys did together a lot? She's a single up? mom with four kids, and she showed us the right way. Wow. Yeah, she's and, a really great woman. And now you are making delicious stuff like this on live TV. And you get to give her a shout out, which is Thanks, really Mom. awesome. <laughs> uh, and so tell us more about, about Crave Rhode Island. You did it last year. What was your impression of it? Um, my impression, I was I was super impressed with it, actually. Yeah. It was such a great time. All the other vendors were very uh, helpful and, and, you know, kind of showing us the right way. It was, you know, my first year, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody was very... Uh, yeah, you're appreciative to be there. Yeah. You know, just to get their name out. Great opportunity to, to showcase. try everybody else's food, beverages, and Gotta it was a really that. great time. Um, I'm going to try some of yours Go right for it. here. And as I bite into this, why this sandwich as the one that you're offering tonight? Uh, it's one of our highly sold ones at uh, the Rosendale. Mm. Our super melts, we sell quite a few of them on a daily wow. basis, so we figured when I take something we do, we do it well, make it a little smaller and offer it to the folks that crave. The creaminess of the ranch and the tang of the barbecue. Gotta have it. With the crunch of the bacon and the I fried chicken. I love your chicken. enthusiasm. Wow. <laughs> this is Enjoy. fantastic. I'm gonna go in for another bite. If you want this recipe or more details on Crave, go to roadshow.com.